In this video, we're going to go over Lab 10 Individual Data Sheet Analysis. So, uh, we got uh, our worksheet over here, and I have both Excels pulled up, one and then the other. So, what we're going to do is take a look at um, doing a couple, couple calculations. You got your two sheets, eyes open, eyes closed, mine are just node EC, eyes closed, eyes open, EO. All right. So we'll go ahead and do a few things here. Let's whittle this data on down to what we really need. Um, my data was recorded on, yeah, right here. This is definitely around what my force actually was. It looks like this one, you know, it just wasn't a zeroed force plate. That's it. Um, so we're going to keep just the CX and CY of force plate two for myself at least. I can delete everything else, CX and CY. Okay, I'm just going to put that in here. Actually, I'm going to add a space and We'll add a cut two there, okay. And this will be our, I'm gonna merge, merge and center. This will be um, eyes closed. I'm about to do some merging, so yeah. Let's go ahead and now hop over to the eyes open and do the same thing. Again, I'm just doing doing some merging so that we can make make sure everything's just all in one one sheet. It's going to make it a little bit simpler, um, rather than having to copy and paste things between sheets and all that. Uh, it'll make things a lot simpler. Okay, we got our same thing here. I'm going to add those mm in. Okay, I'm going to undo that part. I don't want to replace that. Okay. I'm going to copy these, and I had started this over here. I want to make sure that that CX and CY are at the exact same level as this. Yeah. Okay, this should do it now. All right, there we go. And then I'm just going to move this one on over. Actually, I'm going to need a, a little bit more space than this. Okay. Actually, still need a bit more space. There we go. And this one will be EO, eyes open, just as a delineator to stop uh, to separate things on out. Okay. Uh, and I'm actually going to save this as just our. Let's call it the. There, postural sway, EO and EC. And I'm going to set this as a single file. Cool. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do our median, moving median filter. Moving median filter, this will be CX. CY. And easy enough. And one last thing we're going to need is our time. Well, this is going to create more than I need, but that's okay. We'll just undo these. Okay, time. And this is in seconds. 0 0.001. 0. Point. How, I don't know what you're, you're trying to add there, but that ain't right. <laughs> That ain't right, Excel. Sometimes it tries to do some good things for you, but that wasn't one of them. Um, okay, so we have our time that matches up. Now we're going to go ahead, I'm going to page, actually I'm just going to go to the end, my command or control, 
down and I'm gonna go right to 30 seconds actually I'm just gonna page up right to 30 seconds up oh, there we go so everything past this point is just data we don't need I'm just gonna highlight it all and we're gonna delete so we're right at 30 seconds we're golden now um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a moving, moving median filter that is taking into account 100 milliseconds of data. That's 100 data points. 100 data points since we were measuring at 1,000 hertz. Okay, and just to confirm that's what we'll get, I'm going to, starting from point 0.1, I'm going to go up just real quick. It's going to highlight more than I need, but if I just highlight what I'm going to be taking into account, we see 100 right here, so we're good just as a double check measure, you know, where we're at. Can we do math in our head? That sort of thing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to type equals to median and not the whole thing. Okay. There we go. We just want to make sure that we're from where we went. We started from 102 up to just below our label. Median. So we just took the median of those 100 data points right there. And now I'm going to hit this like with the little full cross there. And now what you'll see is median of those 100, mean of the 100 that takes into account just the next data point. So we've moved one down, our window of 100 data points on down one. We moved it down one more, moved it down one more, and so on. It just keeps doing that over and over all the way to the bottom. Now, here's the kicker. We can just copy. We're right at the same level. Paste, paste, paste. Isn't that much, much nicer? All right, so that's our moving uh, median, our moving median data ca calculated for us. Okay, now let's go ahead and do path length. So we have path length here. We're going to take the absolute value of two values, and then we're just going to sum all of those together. And it's going to be from our median, moving median um, differences. Okay, equals to absolute value, ABS, this value minus that value. Doesn't, it really doesn't matter the order uh, because you're taking the absolute value. Then we'll apply that throughout. And lastly, we'll do the sum. Oh, I forgot to do, we're gonna do sum divided by 1,000. Divide by 1,000. Um, we're dividing it by 1,000 so that it will be in meters. So that will be in meters. Because um, this is in millimeters right now. So, this would say that in the eyes closed trial in the AP direction, anterior posterior direction, I, or this person, this actually is me, uh, moved about 26 centimeters in terms of how my center of pressure swayed during that period of time. And again, what we'll do is we'll copy this, paste, paste, and paste. So these numbers are pretty similar not too bad. Uh, looks like I had a little bit more sway in the anterior posterior, not as much in the medial lateral. Again, these are pretty small, small numbers, you know, 28 centimeters versus 26, 20, 28.7, 26.8. You know, we're talking pretty similar sort of numbers all along here. Um, so, just to confirm, MMCX, and this is for the eyes open position, so I could go ahead and copy this on in here and make sure you do um, okay, we're, we're okay, we don't need to worry about too much of the uh, things, I'm just going to do keep text okay, copy Make sure you don't copy from up here. Make sure you copy from the cell. If you copy from up here, you copy this contents, which has nothing to do with 
um, that and you'll, you'll get something that just doesn't make any sense. Okay, this one is our medial lateral. Then this one is our eyes closed, anterior posterior. And lastly, there we go. Eyes closed, MMCY. All right. Just saving for good measure. Okay, at this point, now we're going to do the Shannon entropy. Um, I do want to warn you beforehand that this may lock up your computer just a little bit. Um, and if that happens, just let it go. It may take up to, you know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute to run. Um, I just want to give you a forewarning though. I do include this here because this is this will be a, such a pain to, uh, to type out uh, that I wanted to give it to you just because it is such a pain to type out. Um, we're going to put it in this cell right here. And you'll see that there's these ranges. Now I can't fill this auto automatically in for you. But what we can do is we can just highlight them and we can highlight the appropriate range. So it will be our MM data all the way down. And then we'll just do the same thing to all of the ranges that are in here. Okay. So I just hit enter. I'm letting it go. It may take, you know, as I said, a little bit of time and there we go, not responding. Yeah, you know, right on cue, as I said. It's doing its thing, it's doing its thing, it's crunching some numbers. This is a lot of stuff that it has to crunch, so um, just be a little patient with it and we should be okay. And if worse comes to worse, I'd say wait up to like five minutes. Should be coming back right about now. And okay, good. It came back with a number. That's good. Um, so if it came back with a zero for you, just go ahead and hit this and apply it again. And it should come up with a number. If something does happen, you know, just let me know and we'll see what we can work out. Um, so I'm going to copy this and it's going to apply it to the next cell. It's actually going to lock up probably again. Nope, it didn't. Um, that is the same number and it shouldn't be. Okay, it is taken into account these. So, okay, it looks like I just have to apply it again. Again, these should not be the exact same number. There we go. Looks like it was a little bit faster on that second time. That's good. So let's, oh, don't, don't copy that. That's, that's a mistake on my part. Don't copy that. Um, cause then I'll have to move everything on over <laughs> and see, see where we come into the issues of now I have to wait for this thing to not lock up or not be locked up anymore. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is, but you deal with it. And that should be coming back here in a second. So that was about 30 seconds or so. Okay, apply, apply. I'm just going to go ahead and hit this one. I'll see if it updates that one on the right as well. Probably won't, but we'll, we'll hope. Oh, it did. Even better. Sweet. Okay, so we got our eyes open here. Then we got our medial lateral there. And 
last one. Okay, so this is my data. Um, can open up that individual data analysis one as well. So let's move stuff on into here as well. Yeah, I can just I can just copy the same stuff. You could copy it from here. You can copy it from the other one. Um, both both will work. Um, from here, I just got to make sure I do copy values only though, um, and not. Um, formula or anything like that because it's not going to give me anything that makes sense. Paste a link. Don't paste a link either because that will that can, uh, can cause issues as well. Oh, this is eyes open and I gotta make sure I put stuff into the correct column. Or yeah, correct column. Okay. Not much to it, just a little bit of copying, a little bit of pasting. But with everything applied like so, that makes it a lot simpler. Okay, we got two more things that we'll do. We'll do the absolute error. Okay, so our path length in the CX direction between the two. And then also notice that this is Shannon entropy. So what I can do is just drag this on over and we can always double check to make sure that it's looking at those two things Shannon entropy yep path length yep and lastly Shannon entropy yep cool so one last thing we have to do now well kind of two um, let's hop back to I'm going to move this on over and we'll have our sheet back open. We still need our scatter plots. Okay, so for the scatter plots, we need two scatter plots, one with MMCX and one with MMCY on the Y axis and then on the X axis, time for both. Okay, easy enough. We're just going to come on over, highlight our time, go back up. Highlight MMC. It's okay if there's space in there. This shouldn't cause an issue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the line, the smooth lines. And I, again, will warn you, this may lock up your computer just a little bit because it's a lot of data. Okay, this one wasn't too bad. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, again, this one may tax computers just a little bit because it's a lot of data. Okay, this looks pretty good. I can see, you know, what's happening and all that. Um, oh, actually, I mislabeled this. Four. We're gonna go with four scatter plots. Um, so that's one. <laughs> I forgot. Eyes open and eyes closed. Okay, that, that language may change just a little bit by the time you get around to it. Um, okay, now we'll do the same thing for our eyes, uh, not eyes, uh, for our eyes open um, medial lateral direction. And lock up just a little bit. I'm just going to add the eyes open to both of these just so I have right off the bat that separator. Again, even just editing these titles can cause these things to lock up. That's that's a Excel problem. That's not a U problem. It's a Excel the way it calls things problem unfortunately uh, we just have to deal with it but this one's not too bad right now 
it'd be worse if we were using the whole data, and that's why we're that's one one real reason we're using filtered data. Um, it was also covered in the lecture of why we're using filtered data, um, but yeah, this this is one one reason we're using filtered data. The other is that uh, otherwise, if we didn't use filtered data, we'd get some really wacky stuff like. It could tell us we our center of pressure moved like um, like 10 meters or something like that. And it's like no, it actually didn't. Um, yeah, that. We'll sh I'll show you that at the end if you stick around for it. So let's go ahead and do our last two. Okay. Again, we got the nice little lockup, and that's that is what it is. Eyes closed, and this actually, you know, looks kind of similar. Not too bad. I think the only thing I might do is maybe change these things don't lock up too much. Just set this, well, okay, of course it's going to lock up a little bit, but I was going to set these maximums at uh, 30 seconds. It's not necessary, in fact, I'm not going to do it for the rest, but it, it'll look a little bit tighter. There we go. Just alleviate some, some blank space that's not that's not really needed. Okay, now let's go for our last one. Okay. Eyes closed. Cool, easy separator. And all right, for this last part, we're going to take a look at getting the two scatter plots for MMCX and MMCY. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier for us to do this if we move these things elsewhere. And I'm actually just going to paste the values over here. Paste values. And same thing for this. Actually, I meant to do that the other way. Okay. Ah, oh, man course. Okay, just drag from right here on over. And we need it like this because otherwise the formatting will get a little strange. And it wasn't working for, for me when I was trying it before. So this is the eyes open. Wait a second. I need to make sure I do paste values. Okay. and paste values. And then this is eyes closed. Okay, these values look just fine. Yep, there's nothing nothing weird about them. Okay, so for eyes open, go ahead and do this as a scatter plot. All right, good. So we'll call this um, eyes open 
2D center of pressure, center of pressure sway. So again, our y-axis here is our anterior posterior, and x-axis is medial-lateral. You can make this a little larger, make it a little bit more apparent. Um, so again, this is in millimeters. So my point furthest right here is just just past 40, 460. Over here, just past 460, four and a half, give or take. So I, between here, I moved somewhere in the neighborhood of. Um, you know, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 millimeters, or not 0 0.4 centimeters, 0 0.4 centimeters, sorry. And then anterior posterior, 266, just past that to 282. So that's about two, just shy of two, 1.6 or so um, centimeters. So not too much sway there for, for me. Again, that's for the eyes open trial. And then we can go ahead and look at the eyes closed. Another one of these. It looks equally as crazy. So this is called how you normally see it because it says if I was to say look at you from the transverse plane looking straight down at your feet, uh, this is how your center of pressure would be moving. Again, I, I know I am blocking uh, some of my other charts, um, but we got our side by side here and you can tell I kind of spent a little bit of time here and whatnot. Um, I didn't move between the trials, didn't move my feet or anything like that, um, but it seemed to move around a little bit, um, a little bit more anterior posteriorly because the um, numbers are a little bit different. Um, 464.5. didn't move around as much in the medial lateral overall. But, yep, eyes closed, 2D center of pressure sway. Cool. All right, so you can go ahead and copy these on over. Um, sorry, this was went just a little bit long, um, but if you do have any questions, please reach out to myself or your instructor, and uh, if you don't have any, I'll see you in the next one.